All right, guys, just got dropped off. We're here at a stealthy location. And there goes my ride. So now we need to make it into the woods without being detected, and I'll explain more. All right, folks, after a 30-day absence, so uh, I think we found a good location here. We're about a couple hundred yards away from the highway. I got my gear set down. As you can tell right here, it's pretty flat. So I can see the cars on the highway passing through the woods over here but there's enough thicket that I think we could set up this hot tent and get away with it with an overnight. We'll see what happens. But first line of business, let's get this hot tent set up because I think that's going to be the biggest chore. Oh, look what I found in my campsite, guys. A deer shed. I think I'm going to take that home with me. That's pretty cool. I've never found one before. I'm always in the woods. This is my first time finding one. Really awesome. All right, folks, I've never set up this tent yet, so this is gonna be interesting. Hopefully it goes up pretty easy. Yeah, hopefully it goes up pretty easy, but from the YouTube videos I watched on this tent, uh, it looked pretty simple or doable. So this is the One Tigris North Gaze hot tent, if anybody's wondering. It's a canvas tent quality tent and it's not light it's about 15 pounds all right folks look how well this tent blends into the uh the scenery of surrounding nature take a look at this thing here's the one tigris logo so this entire tent's made of canvas so it's a bit of a weight to carry around. Yeah, so I readjusted all the pins. So once you get the pole in there, you're gonna have to do some adjusting, move some of these pins around and stuff like that. Just like that. It's got the snow skirt on here. So they say this is about a two to four person hot tent. But I think with gear and everything, let's go inside. Check it out guys. Here's the stove jack. We got ventilation. Another ventilation port on that side. Absolutely beautiful. Great tent. Here's the pole that holds everything up. Absolutely amazing. So the hard part is over with. Take a look at that thing. That is a beautiful teepee tent. So cool. I can't wait to uh, start cooking food inside here tonight. Super awesome. All right, let's get our gear inside the tent. Get everything set up. Go over some of the stuff I brought. And then we got to collect firewood because uh, this time in Illinois, during the winter season, the cold season, the days are really short. So it gets dark now at about five o'clock when usually in the summer, it only gets dark, or it gets dark a lot later, around like 9 o'clock, 9.30 almost at night. So uh, the days are a lot shorter here. So I believe it's about 2 in the afternoon right now. So we only have about 3 hours to gather firewood, get everything in here, get everything set up. And then we're in the tent for the night. And later on, we'll go by the highway when it gets a little darker and see if we can see our tent back here. But look at the color of this thing, like I said. And then look at the color of the woods almost a perfect match all right guys let's get this gear in here and see what we got well take a look at this guys there's actually a decent amount of room in here i think two people with their camping gear would be perfect in here i don't see four people fitting in this tent especially with their their hiking backpack and all their other gear they have. Now this is like a two person tent, one cot on this side, one cot on this side over here. And then your gear probably right here in the middle, the stove right there. So wow guys, this is awesome. All right, let's go over what we got. Got a couple bottles of water for tonight. Two big bottles of water. And this is one of my favorite pieces right here, guys. This is the Fjall Raven K 
Keb 52. We'll take a closer look in a little bit. All right, let's see what's in the bag of tricks for tonight. All right, we have a portable cot, collapsible cot. We'll get that set up in a second. This is just a bag of accessories like uh, charging cables, uh, AA batteries, AAA batteries, toothbrush, stuff like that. Oh, another piece of gear I can't wait to use. This is the Stanley Nesting 2 Cup cook set. It comes with two cups in there, I'll show you in a second. And this is my favorite wool blanket. I can't pronounce the name, really. I'm sure somebody can. Well, this is uh, one of my favorite wool blankets. This is the second time owning one of these. The other one I gave away to a friend, but that's the company name right there. Great wool blanket, comes in different styles and colors. Oh, very, very warm blanket for a winter camping. So we have a winter blanket. And then the main part of the bag, which is taking up most of the gear, or most of the room. This was extremely hard to get. I've been shopping around, or not shopping around, but religiously checking their website for months, just about almost every day. And I finally was able to purchase one. They're always out of stock. If you want one of these, you gotta check their website every day. Click on the product and uh, see if they put them back in stock because they sell out so fast. I'm so glad I got one of these, but this is the Abisco uh, three season Fjall Raven sleeping bag. Um, let's see the side right here. Okay, so it's good. It'll keep you warm in temperatures below or up to negative four. If anybody wants to take a look at this right here, you can pause that and take a look. That's all the temperature readings and stuff. But this took me almost, what did I say? Almost two to three months just to get my hands on one of these and I finally got one. They even have a Fjall Raven store in Chicago and uh, they're all sold out over there too. They said the best way to get one of these is to religiously check the website and that's what I did. I finally got one, so I'm super ecstatic about this. You're like, oh man, why is he so excited about a sleeping bag? But to me, Fjall Raven, if you guys have been watching this channel, this is the cream of the crop for me. They make the best outdoor clothing, the best camping gear, everything. It is a little pricey, but just buy stuff over time. That's what I do. I don't buy everything at once. I'd be broke. No, I buy like one piece of gear every like once a week or something. <clears throat> glad this fits in here. I was a little worried it was going to be too long and it wouldn't have gone into the tent, but this is actually pretty perfect. I'll show you the company name. I think it's called Marchway. Not too bad of a cot so far, it looks like. It was around 60 bucks, but you're going to pay for that kind of convenience. You know what I mean? If like, if you want stuff that's lightweight, collapsible, Oh, you're going to pay for it. Trust me. I'm glad I purchased all this stuff. This was all purchased so we can start doing stealth camping and camping videos on this channel. And I'm actually glad I purchased it all. Some of it was pricey. And uh, I'm just glad I got everything now because now I don't really need to purchase anything except for like food to cook and stuff like that. Take a look at that, guys. Oh, let me get on the other side of this. Oh, oh, coming through. All 
All right, guys. Now we got somewhere dry to sit. This is nice. Got it right here. Oh yeah, that's nice. We'll see if it holds up. I'll let you guys know if it if it's still in one piece in the morning. <laughs> All right, so we got that there. It is a little warm during the day right now, but it's supposed to drop off to, uh, I think like 25 degrees for the, for the low. So I'm gonna get this jacket off and get some more of this stuff set up. And then we're gonna collect firewood, guys, because we're gonna need some firewood to make it through all night. Here's the bed all set up. Got the sleeping bag, the cot, Got a couple more things to get out and put away. The wood burning stove is right there. I know, right? Check it out. You're like, how do you have a wood burning stove in there? It looks like a laptop case. See how thin it is? Got a surprise for you in here. We'll set that up later. All right, yeah, see the, the cot came in this bag. Almost as long as the uh, sleeping bag bag so it's not too bad i'm sure they probably make ones that are a lot smaller than this and a lot lighter but i did see one on amazon basically the same layout as the cot right but it only has three legs instead of five but guess how much that cot costs extremely lightweight very durable 400 dollars for the best camping cot like that 400 bucks isn't that insane how do you justify buying something like that just a camping cot. I wonder how durable it is. I've never, uh, never used one. All right. This is my recently purchased this too. We had to save up two months of YouTube paychecks to buy all this gear, the tent, everything you're looking at. Look at this. Look at that Fox. Oh man. I love y'all Raven gear. So beautiful. All right, guys, let's go over the MRE. All right, folks, we're going to be trying out a new MRE tonight. Never had this one before. This is the, uh, oh, it's the freeze dry, is it? Freeze dried edition MRE, meals ready to eat, 24 hour ration. If anybody wants to pause that and take a look. Let's see what's inside this. Never had freeze dried camping meals before. Hopefully they're good because it might be the last time we have them. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna start cooking real food on these trips all right so the first packet what is that strawberries and cream oatmeal for breakfast southern style beef, beef stew freeze-dried this is also freeze-dried this is texas smokehouse chili with beans and beef see how that tastes and then let's see so this is 24 hours. Looks like they give you a packet of corn nuts, tropical drink mix, vanilla shake. That might be good for dessert. Okay. Pilot bread crackers. So I'm assuming there's probably peanut butter in here or something. Okay, look at this, an accessory packet. You get a spoon, wet wipe, coffee, sugar, non-dairy creamer salt pepper uh what does that say S spread oh there's some kind of spread in there candy two kosher drink mixes so hey we got a decent amount of drink mixes i don't know if we'll be able to eat all this but we can use it in another camping trip look at that mre slice of pizza <laughs> i wonder how good that's gonna taste more corn nuts so they give you two packs of corn nuts I knew it. Peanut butter. Knew there was peanut butter in here for the crackers. And another slice of pizza. Two slices of pizza. And that's everything that's in there. I'm actually going to try some of those corn nuts now. Because setting this all up was pretty exhausting. I actually sweat a little bit too. Well, because I had two jackets on. But... We'll have a few corn nuts. And then we got to collect firewood. That's the main... Thing we got to do and then we could come in here and chill all night and be stealthy but we do need a decent amount of firewood Ooh, strawberries 
and cream oatmeal sounds good for the morning. Alright guys, you can see all the cars passing. So that's the highway right there, I'd say. About 100 yards. Look back this way. Tent is right over there. And it is hardly noticeable. It is amazing how well... Let's get closer to the highway. It is amazing how well that blends in with the woods. Okay. So now we're very close to the highway. Right past that tree right there. We look this way. Can't even see it. That is a stealthy setup right there, right next to the highway. Awesome. And there's a field over here for park and stuff and a community. Community on the other side over here. Some businesses on the other side of the highway. And there's the mall on the back side of the woods right here. And then on the other side over there is uh, Home Depot. Look at all those pallets. Somebody's been back here and dropped all those here. But the trail back here is so overgrown with trees and stuff now, you wouldn't be able to get a vehicle back here unless it was like a four-wheeler. Look at that, coming up to the campsite. Yeah, we are in a good spot. Look at how well that blends in with all the fall leaves and stuff, all the leaves that have fallen, all the deadness back here. Awesome. All right, I think it's a good time to uh, get that stove set up so we don't have to do it in the dark. Just drape this over the side. Top piece. What do you want to do? Take a look at that. See the big glass viewing on that window on the side for a little bit of ambience at night. And then you got the front window right here. This thing only weighs five pounds, made of titanium. There you got the door, glass window, airflow right here. They thought of everything on this collapsible stove. Let's get that set off to the side and then we're gonna roll up the uh, the chimney. All right, folks, for the past 20 minutes, I've been watching YouTube videos and I'll tell you what, rolling this pipe up does take a bit of technique and skill. It is not very simple, <clears throat> but it is very lightweight. So I do like that, but I'll get better at rolling it up every time, uh, every time we use this, but yeah. Two YouTube tutorial videos later and I figured out how to put it together. So what you do is you roll it up and then it comes with these uh, metal rings right here all the way down the pipe and you slide them down to keep it sealed. So there's that. <laughs> now we can finally get this chimney put through the stove jack here so let's take a look. All right let's get this pipe in there. Oh, 
out here and put the damper on. Put the damper on real quick. Let's get you guys down here. Don't want to lose those. Look at the damper. Nice little piece here. I'm sure I'm gonna get questions about how much this stove was. So it came out after tax almost to about $400. Yeah, I know, it was hard for me to spend it on that too. But <laughs> I did want something that was lightweight and that could collapse and fit inside a hiking backpack. But uh, we do need to find a smaller case for it too. But if you want lightweight camping gear and stuff like that that's specialized, you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay for it for sure. All right, folks, so we finally got the chimney pipe up and assembled. The tent's up. There are a guideline tie-offs on every point, but it's not really windy tonight, and I don't think we're going to need that. The stakes and the pole are good enough, so let's go inside. Right in the entrance, we have the wood-burning stove. Right here, I've got some uh, cut wood that we're going to split for the uh, wood stove. Got some stuff over here. Got my drinks. My cot, sleeping bag, backpack, MREs, a whole bunch of other stuff that I need for tonight. Some lights. And I don't see any tie-offs in here, which is a shame. But we could put the lights around the thing if we want. Got something really special to show you guys. Yep, there's the pipe. There's the stove. Pipe going out the top right there. So hopefully we don't have any leaks in here. I think it's pretty well... Cause you could see how this like some of the metal is open right here but i don't think it's a problem because it's like rolled like a hot dog so all right guys we're all set up for the night so uh i do want to take a walk around the perimeter and see if there's anything else back here or maybe someone else is back here camping too you never know all right let's put our saw away let's zip up the tent cut up some of these uh, small diameter logs that we're gonna split in uh, fours so we can get the firebox going and we're just gonna use our knife to split these okay. just like that folks we are in the tent and it's time to hunker down get some food going and get this fire box going so let me set up the camera and we'll get this fire going it is already kind of cold i can feel the chill already take a look at that folks look at the side viewing window that is so cool so I got the damper wide open to get this thing going, so we get some airflow going through to get the wood burning. And then I got the vent open over here to let air in, so we get a good flow of air going in there so everything burns. And then when it starts to get up to a good heat, I'm going to close the damper just a bit, 
and then shut this just a bit so we can contain some of the heat in here. So right now most of the heat's going out the top of the pipe. So I'm sure a lot of people are wondering uh, is there any smoke leaking out of here, being that it's collapsible. And the question is, or the answer is, no. I do not see any smoke leaking out of anywhere. Even the pipe, I was concerned about the pipe because you have to roll this uh, thin sheet of metal up, thin sheet of titanium, and then you gotta put these rings around it. But I don't see any smoke coming out. It is perfectly sealed. Yeah, there's no smoke coming out of this thing. So we're perfect. It's not even smoky in here, you can tell with the lights. Absolutely no smoke in here. I do have the door open right here because this is the first time we're burning this stove. And from watching YouTube videos, what I've seen is they say you want to burn this thing before using it and sleeping in it. So that's what we're now, we're doing a test burn to burn off all any factory chemicals or anything on us. And with the door wide open, we got ventilation at the top and there's ventilation coming through the bottom of the tent. So we're okay in here. <clears throat> Yeah, nice little, little thing. Super cool. All right, folks, it is pretty warm in here. Like, I'm very comfortable. I had to take off my hat, and I'm going to take off my jacket pretty soon. So let's get some water boiling and uh, bring that up to a boil because the food is dehydrated, so we need to add hot water. Cups off to the side over. I'll get that up there. Right on the center. It is warm in here, but I wonder if we're going to run out of firewood. I don't think so though. This thing's pretty efficient, the way it's burning. Like I don't have to load it up so much, so it's burning really well. I'd say it's about, it's uh, the low tonight is about 24 to 30 degrees, and in here has got to be already like 60 degrees, so it's warming up pretty fast in here guys. Alright, let me grab my other light. Look at this cool little stick light. Two settings. Anyways. I don't know if you guys could see that, but the stove is starting to turn this bluish color. Look at the pipe up here. Isn't that cool? I didn't know titanium did that. Look, it's like turning a blue color. That is so awesome. It's going to have like a bluish, uh, what would you say, like a bluish rainbow effect to it? That is so cool. Like a blue hue in different spots. I really like that. That's really cool. Yeah, guys, this fire is going. This cot's holding up really good, if anybody was wondering. Uh, no breaks or anything yet. We'll see how it goes throughout the whole night when we're sleeping. I love this viewing window right here. This big glass window on the side, and it has a glass window right in the front. I love it. So we got the water boil. Oh, look at that. We already got some little bubbles coming up. And it's been on there for, I don't know, like three, four minutes now. Okay, guys, check out these lights. Pick these up off Amazon. So inside these lights, see this part right here? You can actually pull this out, and there's a 32-foot LED string. So you could have like an LED uh, light perimeter in here if you wanted to. But I'm not going to pull those out tonight. There's no need. I did want to... I wish there was snow out because... Uh, then I would have used these 32 foot string lights in here. Both of them have it. You can pull a 32 foot rope out of here and there's like lights every inch and a half. Like little LED lights. Really cool. Picked them up on Amazon. You can find them. They're just called camping lights, string lights. 
And it's cool too because it acts as a lantern too. You can hang them from stuff. It has a little hanger on the back. Really cool. Only $20 a piece, so they weren't too bad. And look how bright it is in here. Plus I got this. I got another flashlight in my backpack. I never have too many lights. So this one runs off batteries, triple A's. My flashlight runs off double A's. And these are just rechargeable USB. These go on USB. You don't need batteries for these, so it's cool. So if you ever go camping, you could bring these power banks. And um, the reason why I picked these up, because I was reading the description, and it said on there, each light, each charge you get, each full charge you get, lasts up to eight hours. So these things will stay on for eight hours straight. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, guys, got the MRE right here. Haven't decided what I'm gonna eat out of here. There's two entrees in here. So we got Southwestern Bean Stew or Texas Smokehouse Chili with beef and beans. I think I'm gonna go with this Texas Smokehouse Chili. That sounds good. And then a cup of uh, cup of that juice they gave us in here. We'll make some of that. And then later tonight, we will uh, make that shake in there too. That sounds like it's gonna be delicious. Nice a little bit of dessert before we go to bed. That'd be really nice. That water's still boiling. That bubbles a little bit more steady now. Give that some more time though. We want to bring that to a roaring boil. That blue is so cool. Look at the blue on the top of there. That is awesome. I didn't know titanium did that when it got real hot or when it heats up like that. That is so cool. And I was skeptical about the pipe. I was wondering if that was titanium. It is titanium because the material here is actually doing the same thing that the box is doing. So that's really cool. I wonder when it's when it when it when it uh, when you're done using it. I wonder if uh, the blue hue goes away and it only comes back when it gets heated up. We'll have to see that. All right, guys. Good pile of wood. Sleeping bag. I'll be right back with you when this water starts to boil. All right, guys, it's been on there for about 10 minutes and we are at a roaring boil. Check that out. Only 10 minutes on top of the stove. That's pretty, pretty good. All right. Handle's not even hot. Look, still holding it to prove it. This Stanley is amazing. Put that there, and uh, let's get our entree out of there. And uh, let's get some chow in us. Seasoned to taste. That's really good, they say seasoned to taste because they gave us salt and pepper. So I let the water cool down a little bit. Put that there. Look. So we'll just eyeball eight ounces of water. Try not to burn ourselves doing this. Okay. It says seal it. Give this a little mush around. It says to give it a shake too. Oh, and that suck if the bag opened all over the wood stove. Oh wow, I can actually smell the chili through the... That actually smells really good. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for 15 minutes, it says. Put that right there. You know what I forgot? I was gonna bring some hot apple cider mix. I saw this, um, they sell these individual packets in a box over at Walmart. I was like, hot apple cider, that sounds good. All right, guys, I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes, and I'll be right back with you when we're ready to eat. All right, guys, it's been about 10 minutes. It's pretty hot still. So let's give this a try and see if we need to add some salt. Let's see if it's bland. Where is my spoon? There it is. MRE came with the spoon. Oh, it smells good. It already smells like it has a bunch of spices in it. Let's take a look real quick. Let's show you guys, see if we can't. Yeah, beans. I can see the beef in there. Looks pretty good to me. It smells really good. Alright, let's give this a try. 
Let's see what we got in here. Needs a little bit of salt. Oh, guys, the chili was good. I'm stuffed. Also, had some corn nuts and uh, still have a little bit of my drink mix left. But I don't know if you guys can see that the pipe glowing at the bottom right there. Earlier, it was red hot, it was glowing red. That was pretty crazy. Yep, just been sitting here enjoying the fire, watching some YouTube videos, about to edit up some clips so I could get this video uploaded because it's been 30 days since we had to upload. Ever since beaver season stopped, I was getting so used to uploading videos almost every single day. And then winter hit and I was like, whoa, time to switch up uh, switch up what we're doing here. So at least we get to get out and go camping. Like this is so cool, look at this setup. Got our pile of wood, got the wood burning stove, our gear. Got a nice cot to sleep on, sleeping bag. Had a nice meal. We even got snacks in there too if we get hungry. Oh yeah, the um, uh, what was it? The vanilla milkshake in there too. We're gonna try that before bed. Before bed, we'll uh, get this firebox loaded up one more time, and we need to get the sleeping bag out, let it loft real quick. So I'll be right back with you. folks it's about two in the morning so I'm gonna get to bed right now and um, I'm gonna save the drink mix for the morning instead of coffee we'll have a nice uh, vanilla shake in the morning so we could just pour cool water in there while we're packing all our gear up and stuff so we made it this far through the stealth camp we just got to get out of here in the morning without getting seen or caught so so far so good I'm having a great time it's nice and cozy in here nice and warm got the fire going real good still have a great pile of wood right here so this thing burns real efficient I find I'm I have to load it up with decent size like logs like this about every two hours so it's really efficient I love this little thing all right guys time for bed Thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will see you all in the morning. Night, everybody. See you in the morning. Oh, nice and warm in here now. Oh, got a little cold last night when the fire went out. The sleeping bag kept me kind of warm, but once that, once your, uh, once your body starts to feel that chill, you wake right up. 
<laughs> but the fire once it once you get that fire going it gets, it get it gets warm in here pretty fast <coughs> excuse me Got some water let's get packed up Alright folks, ride is here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We got away with it. Our very first stealth camp. So guys, if you want to see more uh, videos like this, just leave it in the comments. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see if we can't make those ideas happen. Always appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I know this is going to be new to my beaver dam community, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you know, culvert season and beaver dam season isn't until spring. That's when videos start again every day. So guys, that being said, I need you to do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up so we can get into the YouTube algorithm so other people can find this video and enjoy it as you have. Until next week or in a couple days, Johnny out.